Hengis, Hazra, and Bartleby, I assume you're walking roughly how you're walking there. Yeah, and, and Bartleby is, yeah. is getting really, like, frantic, like, glancing, not saying much, but, like, looking at the guy and them. Yeah, and you, you sort of, like, um, you're sort of, like, moving um, around the streets, and he's sort of, like, um, moving around, and he keeps bumping into people and saying, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, and then moving off. And he comes down this, he turns down this route, this road and you're some distance now away from the hairy goblin but in in enough distance for gulliver's spell still to um be able to absorb uh, observe it and he goes down that um alleyway or that road and you people come to the um or almost like to the the edge of it um here and um probably uh you has to sort of like just have a quick um look round um in order to see what's happening and you notice that at the far end of the um street um he's looking to the east um so he's looking towards this um this part here there he's actually been stopped and he's been stopped because there are um, two um, people um, stood um, in front of him. Um, they look, I'm just trying to find my tokens. Da, da, da. Here they are. They're not this big, don't worry. So there, there seems to be um, two um, peop two of these. Um, they look like um, street ruffians. They look like um, common or garden um, thugs. And you notice that um, he's obviously gone past the group. And then um, they've, the front two have sort of like stepped out and the back two have sort of like um, closed ranks behind him. Does that make sense? And he is sort of like um, in, in the end. And uh, you, you can hear the conversation, um, Hazra. It's not guarded or anything like that. It's not mm -hmm. hushed. It, it's quite um, um, loud. And if anything, the, the, the dandy fellow is actually... Um, almost like projecting his voice like drunk people do and as you sort of like get to the edge you sort of like peep round or you just have a quick look round and you you hear the guy um, the dandy fellow says i said i would have the money and i will have the money and one of the ruffians um what's one of the ones in front of them says but you said you would have it a long time ago and you have still not delivered it as promised but I, I, i'll have it soon and then you will you will get it so just tell him archie my good man you are becoming a little bit well unreliable and you know what unreliable means in our trade what? Unreliable? Uh, uh, un un yes, Archie, my lad. You are becoming unreliable. And where do you get those poncy looking clothes you wear? These are the, the, the best silk clothes ever. Looks like a tart, says one of the other. Looks like a fancy boy, if you ask me. I, I I bought these fair and square with your boss's money. Ah, Archie, Archie, never try to actually influence us when you are under the influence. And one of the bad guys goes, oh, that, that's a joke, that. And the, the front one just sort of like looks at him. He says, oh, sorry, boss, sorry. Like this. Yeah, what would you like 
to um, Hengis, Hasra, and Bartleby, what would you like to do? Um, Hasra will whisper very quietly because all this hubbub's going on in front of him. So hopefully he'll be dis- the noise will be disguised, and, and he'll say to Hengis, "You can always hope." Yeah, always hope. <laughs> It seems to using these ruffians to get to, to repay some money of some kind, and they are like saying that he has owed them for a very long time. And then should we help him or should we just watch what goes on? I think we should wait for a moment and see what happens. We can always move in if, if needed to I, look after him. I agree. I don't want to jump into this into this honest nest and find out that I'm going to get stung. Anyway, Archie, we do believe that you will get the money for our boss, but we figure you need a little bit of an encouragement. Don't you agree, lads? Oh yeah, I, 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 I. Uh, what's encouragement? Um, says the one at the back and. Um, the guy, the, the sort of like the leader, sort of like rolls his eye, and say, "Show him what encouragement is." And um, Archie goes, "I well, actually, encouragement." And also goes poof like that as one of the other guys just whacks him um, across um, the jaw um, with almost like a, a, a left hook, and he sort of like. He's not like a boom, like that, and he staggers for a while, rocking, and then goes, that hurt, and sort of like um, crumbles um, down um, onto the, the floor. He is now prone um, on the um, floor. Um, yeah, um, Hengis Hasra Bartaby, what would you like to do? I can't find my prone icon. Oh, there he is. Again, as you'll relay what's happened to Hengist, um, and he'll be saying, you're not wearing your armour, are you? I think everybody oh. came to luncheon with the... We went to lunch. We were, we were, oh, we were fully kissed out, were we? Yeah. yeah no, we were told to go... Oh, my apologies, we sorry. Yeah. The arms. So, yeah, Hengist is wearing... Full, full you right. probably won't have your no. you probably have your right. sword, but probably not your shield because that no, that no would be really. Not the bacon. Look at my shield. Um, yes. Um, so what? What would you? What would the three of you like to do? Well, you will see. They've just punched him. They seem to be teaching him a lesson with no mortal intent. I don't think we should get involved unless it seems like they are about to, to kill him um, because we may want to follow them to see where they're going because they could have instructed him to to do something maybe or, or, or perhaps maybe we could rescue him and find out of him what they are doing well one of the um, there's a sort of like oh sound as one of the um, guys at the back um, sort of like kicks um, Archie um, while he's um, down um, on the floor. We, Hengist, it's your call. What do we do? Let's, uh, let's see if we can pick him up and, and rescue him. He may be indebted to us as you suggest. Right, so are, are you are you going to rescue him? Is that the plan? I think it's just happy to. Okay, cool. Well, in which case, um, roll roll some initiatives for me. Make sure you click your character so you appear on the uh, thing. Initiative. What are you on my sheet? Do you want? My initiative bonus, since uh, Hazard and I tied, is a nine. Eighty-nine. It's a, it's a nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, broken hand Barleby as a 
It's an it's 89 fine. for this. Yeah, that's the way we roll. I might as well have Yeah, I, I assumed yours was higher than me. I just wanted to. Um, so, well, what, you never know. Eight. Well, it's, you know, it happens. Eight, eight. It's, it's based on intelligence, isn't it, I think? No, it's um, um, two scores, I think. Yeah, what is it? Right, okay then. So we're, we're moving into um, combat rounds. Um, so, um, Hazra, you will move first on um, 16. What would you like to do? Hmm. I would like to move behind... I'm assuming they're focused on kicking him and just giving a good old beat down. So Hazra wants to quietly and stealthy move behind this one here. With trying to stay out of eye shot of this one here. Okay, so roll, um, roll your um, your stealth skill. Ooh. Oh, I'd like to use a point of luck, please, to re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd use it like to use it. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, so... Yeah. Yeah. Hell, yeah. I, no, I can't use it on the same skill twice. I know. Correct. Um, yeah, so you sort of like um, um, head out um, on um, 16. Um, Baltaby, you are on 16. I would like to place my hand on Hengist if he's in touching range. Yeah. And uh, give a prayer that Amriel will... Protect him. Protect I and don't... serve. I want Amriel to make his blade sharp and quick so that these enemies go down quickly and... Nice. More death. So that's blade yeah. sharp coming on him. Is it? Uh, if it didn't click. Yeah, blade yeah. sharp. Yeah. And here's my power. Can I use a point of luck to reverse? <laughs> yes. Yes, by all means. So uh, um, you've got blade sharp. So um, Hengis, your weapon will go up uh, a damage notch. So what? Um, just increase it. You could probably see Bartby's um, spell um, uh, as it goes. Um, on 15... Um, the thugs act. You has a you sort of like um, sort of like shimmy your way down, but you suddenly realise that this is not. Cat. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is not the outdoors, you know. And you sort of like you sort of like um, try to um, edge yourself um, down, and as as you get close to them, what one of them says, "Oi!" It was sort of like um, this one here says, "Who are you?" And um, you notice that they draw um, something from their um, um, belts. Um, it seems to be, um, it looks like a sap, um, a, a short, light little truncheon. And mm. they, on their action on um, 15, um, they draw them. Um, Gulliver, you're on 14. Um, I'll just observe. Okay, and Hengis, you're on 12. So um, with that, I'm hearing the, the star swords. Who's that? Hengis is just going to turn and walk down this turn of the river, <laughs> middle, of, <laughs> middle of the alleyway, trying to make himself look as big and threatening as possible. Um, cool. Um, so, yeah, so move yourself to where you would like to um, be. There, so he's not quite in... He's just sort of like... A meter. Are you going into combat or not? No, not yet. Okay, so you're you're walking. To, as go, so as he, he's going to turn around the corridor, uh, turn around the corner, walk down the middle of the alleyway, looking as big and threatening as possible, and just say, and just shout, "Leave him alone!" And then stop. And then stops. Okay, like, then, just yeah, combat. Uh, absolutely fine. Okay, then. Um, so we're now going into. Um, turn um two um so hasra we're back up to you as he wants to use a free action and he's cast his mind back and he doesn't want to use deceit or anything he just wants to say an offhand sentence if that's okay he just needs to roll for it if in my mind because it's just an offhand thing he, he wants to know, say sniffer is disappointed in you Okay, so then, so hang on. If you are using it for as a skill, then no, it's, that it's will just, be your action. If you're no, no, just saying it, then there'll be no yeah. role made against it. It'll just be like that's a, right. I'm a just literally, literally just saying yeah, it. That's cool. If it is disappointed in you, and, what about, and then with that, yeah. I, w I want to thrust my short spear into the one in front of me. Cool. Yeah, roll away. Oh, 
it's a bad roll. Um, yeah, um, so this one um, in front of you will try to um, um, block it or parry it with his um, little sap that he's got out. Let's just see here there. Um, skill 52. Um, yeah, so he um, he tries to um, parry it but um, fails. So, um, yeah, I need um, special hit location damage. Choose location. It's going to be chest. Um, and your damage will be... A two. Uh, chest. Yeah, um, you whack it into his chest and you it glances off some kind of um, leather armour that he's wearing um, on his chest. And um, that's 16, um, 15. Um, this person here sees you try to stab his friend. He's not in combat, so he makes a run for it. He just turns round and, and runs and sort of like um, get, gets out the way. These two... Um, so like see you there but they almost like can't resist um dashing off and they stick the boot in to um um archie who's um oh sorry Bartleby, i didn't have your go sorry that, that's okay I, I was gonna say something but all i was gonna have Bartleby do is move up to the the building so we can peer around okay, the corner so and i kind of felt yeah. like you had Move, move it move him up to there that's absolutely fine okay then so they're going to kick the boot in their um their combat style is thug bullying which i think is absolutely uh, brilliant mm -hmm. it's 52 percent um ooh, oh the first one tries to put a, a foot in his face but um archie manages to get his um hands up and the other one Oh, yeah, the, the other one um, um, hits and will um, do um, um, choose location on his um, head and will roll his damage of 1d6 in Archie's head. Um, four points of damage. Archie's dead. Uh, no. He's got, he sort of like whacks him uh, into his head. It, it doesn't look like it um, knocked him out, but um, you do hear a bit of a crack. Uh, um, and that's 15 ups. Gulliver, you're on 14. Um, I'll just observe. Okay, then. And then Hengis, you're on 12. Um. So I'm going to say what I'd like him to do, and then you tell me if it's if it's possible. Mm. Um, so Hengis would like to to draw his sword and walk forwards, so that he's sort of like standing within combat distance. So he's basically wants to move into combat with the with the two that are kicking seven shades out of Archie, and at the same time draw his sword if it's possible. You're not. If not, <laughs> then he'll he will just sort of like move to to stand over Archie. Yeah, uh, you could probably move and draw your sword and get up to Archie. Um, Archie is classed as difficult ground at the moment okay. to sort of like go over him. So you can put, and you can't move. He's also classed as he's not friendly to you. So yeah, normally so if, if that was Hasra, you would be able to move through it, but it's not. So you sort of like move up um, to that um, on 12. Okay, um, combat round three for anybody who's still got actions left. So, um, Hasra. Yes, indeed. Um, I would like to... Um, well, I'm going to do so. I'm going to hit my spear again because I can't compel surrender, so I will do it now. Spear. Da, 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 da. Come on. Thank you. That took a time. Um, yeah, I that's know. hit. I need um, special hit location damage. I, uh, okay, he'll do it again. He'll go um, choose location, chest. Um, damage will be 
Six. Oh, that's a better shot. Thank you. I'll um, drop my pencil. Yeah, and you, uh, you manage to find a, a gap in the armor or go through his armor. You touch some flesh, um, but it's just a, a minor um, nick um, into his um, armor, into his body. Um, Bartleby, you're up if you have any uh, actions left. Can I just stop and think, did, did the guy I hit the first time, the one in front of me, he didn't have a go at me, did he? Or was he, 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 he used his action to parry a blow. Oh, right, sorry. Right, so his first action was to draw his weapon and then the second one yeah. was to parry, so he didn't have right. any hit back. Um, Bartaby. I also only have two action points. Right. So. Um, Darth says the next time Bartaby puts his hand on Hengis' shoulder to say a prayer, just want him to say, Hengis, may the force be with you. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I'm really awesome. Yeah. Um, Bartaby, done. Thugs out. Gulliver. I'll just observe. Okay. And Hengis, if you have um, any actions left, what would you like to do? Hengis does. Um, Hengis, so he can't get through. So Hengis wants to, although he's got his sword in his hand, he wants to. You can now, weapon. you can now close range and engage with one of the um, thugs if you wish. Battle cry. No, no, no. Um, what Hengis was thinking of doing was, um, although he's got his sword in his hat, one hand, he was going to try and grab hold of like Archie, uh, Archie's collar or something, and try and drag him. Okay, out then. Of the way. So, well, you're you sort of like bend down and try to, without you know, um, exposing yourself to a, a, yeah. a blow. So, roll your unarmed combat skill. Uh, Yeah, so you reach down and you grab um, hold of uh, Archie's um, collar. There, there's a, a bit of a grunt as as you do it. So your next action, uh, in, in, you'll be able to use your brawn to start pulling if needed. Okay, combat round two, turn one. Um, Hasra, we're up to you. Rinse and repeat. He will thrust out. And he's seen that little chink in his armour. He's going to go for the same point again. Nice. Oh. So the, this guy quite naturally um, will try to um, parry it um, in, in any t case, but he, he only gets a 12. So close. Um, oh, yeah. wh which means <laughs> it, he um, you actually, um, he fails. You actually got the, um, because it's a differentiated role. So yeah. you actually win. Um, so you will have your hit lo um, special hit location damage. So two specials, isn't it, as well? So I get bypass armor and then choose location. Is that okay? Um, is, it two spe is it two specials? No, it's only one special. That could be a crit. If he had failed, oh. it would have been two because you'd have two levels. Right, I understand. It, uh, right, okay. Yeah. Again, choose location chest again. Okay. Um, short spear again is six. Six. Uh, but, 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 six. Right, um, that's actually um, taking him into a serious wound. So he's going to roll his um, endurance, da, 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 which is fifty-two. Which yeah, he he makes the um, he makes the roll, which means he hasn't passed out, which is a good thing. Uh, but let me just check. Um, no, actually, he doesn't, because his endurance roll is. I th I think I'm right in this. His endurance roll is is a, to your original damage roll. That's what it's opposed by, and yours is a critical, and he just makes a normal. So you, he's failed that compared to your thing. So he actually um, goes down, and he'll be out. How much damage did you do? Uh, six. Six. So he's actually down and out um, for um, six uh, minutes now. So he is, uh, you slice it in, you probably slice it between. Um, the arm and the breastplate. And just yeah, and it chest. sort of like goes through and he, you sort of like pull it out and he sort of, sort of like uh, looks at it, puts his hand on it and it's sort of like you can see the blood seeping through it and he just sort of like collapses. He goes a little bit pale. And then just sort of like collapses um, to the ground. And that was on 16. And um, Bartleby, you're on 16 as well. What would you like to do? Um, 
going from looking looking around the corner, he's going to move up to uh, about here. Okay, cool. And um, at this point on 15, um, these guys, uh, these two guys here, they're not in combat because um, Archie isn't fighting back and Hengus has got hold of them. They've just seen one of their mates get um, kebabbed by Hengus and his... Um, his long his short um, spear so these two so like one heads off um this way and the other one heads off um in this direction um running what one of them probably shouts get out of here oh yeah okay okay and he sort of like turns around bumps into somebody then turns around the other way and just sort of like um heads off um gulliver you're on 14 um, I'll observe. Okay then, and um, Hengis, um, you're on twelve. Um, so roll your um, just roll your brawn skill for me. Yeah, and you easily um, um, pull um, well Archie sort of like um, away. You've got him sort of like sat up now. Um, you can see there's blood um, coming down from um, uh, some kind of head wound. It might be across his nose. It could be on a temple. Um, he's definitely um, has some kind of um, light wound there. But he, he's just like, he sort of like goes, oh, I'll get them. I'll get them. Like like this. Um, yeah, what, what would you uh, like uh, to do? Um, so Hengist will say um, to, to Archie, say, "Well, we've we've saved you from those ruffians. Um, let's get you to a safe place, and we can we can patch you up and talk." Oh, well, yeah, I I, I can talk. I can ah. <laughs> and, um, Hengist will also uh, sheath his sword at this point as well. Okay. Um, yeah. So what about? Bartleby and Hasra, you've got a, a dead body in front of you or an unconscious body. Is there anything you wish to do with that? Yes, not not when I turn around, it's a bit behind me. <laughs> yeah, just walk away. Yes, walk away. Nothing, Nothing to, to be that. easy. <laughs> yeah. um, so when... he, well, he, 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 this is street, in his mind, this is some robber who's just come to rob an innocent person. Yeah, he's not... He, he's yeah. conversation, but... Okay. He's not dead. He he's just literally unconscious. So is the plan um to where are you going to the three of you where are you going to take Archie? Um. And then G9 did did G9 not we have five. this place that we could no the, I'm thinking of the access place we had where we tied up those people last time. Could we not get back in there again? Do, you, do I mean when we when we went into the sewers? Before we went to the sewers, we captured the cat of the sheep. We Perhaps we should just leave the alleyway first and head towards the hairy hobgoblin ish and discuss this on the way. I don't really want to be seen next mm. to. Um, well, that, that's George true. Link. But at that point, I, and saying as Hengus says that he's going to be helping Archie up, it's like letting Archie lean on him so that we can start walking. Okay, and Arlby he... wants to stay to to cast a quick heal prayer. Um, I I'm, I know you said serious wound. Um, I just <gasps> want to heal prayer as a minor folk spell is going to stabilize him without healing him, because I'm going to feel guilty if we leave him to die in a filthy alley. That's just going to run over and stab him with a spear. It's, it's <laughs> like, is that stab Bartleby or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah go... Here's my roll. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my wow. last point of luxury roll. Uh, yes, mm. by all means. Wow. He's mugging somebody. Oh! Oh, I guess Amriel doesn't want him to be alive. Uh, exactly. Amriel does not want to <laughs> walk away. <laughs> walk away. But just to let you know, Baltaby, you can tell everybody anything you want. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. I, <laughs> I, I, he doesn't lie. I, I, <laughs> really, um, Gulliver? <laughs> um, Gulliver, you're you're still projecting yourself uh, on the street. Uh, you can see the rest of them um, heading back. 
um, to the heavy hobgoblin. No, we, we do not need to go to the heavy hobgoblin. Oh, sorry, that, that's what I say. Yeah. The warehouse was actually lent to you by your previous um, patrons. So right. it's not something that you can it's go... It's not available to us now. No. Right. So well, none of us going to follow them wherever they're wherever they're going. The the party, yeah, yeah. Okay then, yeah. 